uh, for the phase 3 detailing, we start for the detail drawing that include uh, part assembly and folded drawing, and second for build of material, third at costing and final uh, uh, final specification. This is the aspect of ergonomy, the iteration among human and other elements of the system. Uh, we apply the theory, principle, data, and method in to design in order to optimize human well-being and overall system performance. And the aspect of ergonomic uh, based on the performance, the comfort, the safety, aesthetic, and easy of use. So this is our modeling. Uh, we start from the uh, component of the steering system. This is the steering drop arm. Uh, this is the steering arm, uh, steering connector, steering wheel, and high rod, and steering shaft, steering supporter, and screw. And it's all, it's all modeling, 3D modeling for the steering system. And now we uh, will introduce from the simulation of this system. Now, okay. The first thing is that the driver will uh, steer the wheel that depending on the his or her choices, which is that this is moving to the right. So next, the movement from the, so the radial movement of the steering wheel will uh, convert into a top specific throughout all the steering shaft. Okay, next, that movement of top will be next. Uh, that movement will then uh, the, the transfer to the steering drop will change the top into the linear motion, which will create a push and pull mechanism of the tie rod. So from that, the tie rod will then control the rotation of the steering up, and it will move the tire according to the direction of the steering itself. So this is the simulation which is the steering wheel, starting from steering wheel, steering shaft, steering drop up, tie rod, and steering up. The calculation of the force acting on the steering system is specifically from the wheel. Uh, we take a vehicle uh, weight 150 kg and driver weight 50 kg. Uh, the driver weight is 43 kg actually. So we take 60 kg so, uh, for safety reason. Uh, by the other hand, we use 60 40 ratio so that 40% of the torque is uh, on the front wheel.
growth. Uh, from from the one Mrs. stress, we can see that uh, our our uh, the our maximum is still on the uh, 1.3 uh, 0.7. So it is actually uh, still in range of uh, still can afford. This is the steering shaft. Uh, the steering support and we we apply a moment at this. <coughs> this is steering support. Uh, the deck for the steering wheel. So for the material selection, so we select our material based on these four categories which have a high strength material, the durability, the machining, and the reliability. So based on these four, we decided to choose the most common which is the A36 A3, A36 method so this is the chemical composition okay next this is the physical composition okay next and this is the mechanical composition next okay so uh, this one is the design for manufacturing so basically design for manufacturing is to ensure that the product is easy to manufacture and economic cost and it was good to require the quality and can achieve the required reliability so, uh, this is a part of the, uh, the steering system, there is a steering wheel, steering shaft and steering connector. In steering wheel, we use the standardized and we use the ready-made wheels from the market. And the steering shaft, we use the hollow tube and the process. And the steering connector, we make from metal plate and hollow shaft and it's connected with the lead process. And the uh, drop arm, uh, where we use also the steel plate. Uh, we have to stand, get the hole at the plate. And the tie rod, we use the rod tube that was that and we weld the rod end to end. And the steering arm is packed to few pieces and joined together to form the steering arm. So in a failure mode uh, effect analysis. So this is the basically the failure mode. So in steering wheel you can see the failure type is the overturn which is uh, what happened when uh, steering is harshly turned it can uh, the, it can break the tie rod and the stability of it is which is very highly, 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 uh, ah, highly, uh, highly, <laughs> ah, highly, sorry. Uh, so, to ensure that this does not happen during our day, we, we should uh, put some stopper which then can uh, minimize the range of the turn of the steering. And the steering shaft. Uh, with the severity uh, of 4 which the potential impact is this shaft will twist and break uh, which will uh, occur by too much stock and twist on the shaft and the drop off which the steering drop will fracture this one also have a high severity like the steering wheel so these two most of it we have to uh, highly highlight it but this both we need to be very extra careful because these two can make our car a uh, for a break. So next, this is the, the recommendation action uh, for each. Okay. This is the final action that we use. Um, as you can see uh, on the given slide, this is for the steering drop arm. All uh, we use the millimeter. So this is the shaft, this is the screw, steering arm, tire, and steering wheel. The steering supporter and this is the costing. And the costing is uh, we find it mostly from the internet. Uh, but since uh, the, the area of the meter, the metric used was like inches, so we have one purpose to meter and meter. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be in here if you need something for the fire. I'm going to be in here.